Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at a few alternatives to Netflix and Netflix is hugely popular, everyone watches it, I've seen it myself but if you find it a bit too expensive or you can't afford it then these alternatives are really worth checking out and the first one I wanted to show you is this, Viewster and Viewster is this app that has loads of free TV shows like series and films and anime that you can watch it's got 5 million downloads and that is a lot of downloads trust me 5 million is a good amount of downloads and it's got very good reviews and it looks like this um, on the inside so yeah it's completely free it's got many different TV shows it's got quite a lot of content on there but the disadvantage, I've actually seen this before, and the disadvantage is that there is, they don't update it much, they don't update the service much at all. And it, it's just like, it's been the same thing for two years now, so they don't update it much, but there is quite a lot of good stuff to watch on there. Really good series and stuff to watch on there, so that's the first one. And the second one that I would recommend to you is this one drama fever and drama fever like, i've already tried all of these apps so i know what these apps are like and drama fever is really really good but only if you're interested in korean dramas there's subtitles and there's translations so don't worry about the english translations but there is only mainly korean dramas on there with uh, english translations on it but if you're not keen on korean dramas then you won't find much in here that will interest you at all. So that's the thing about the second one. It's good for Korean dramas, but not much for anything else. But it's fantastic at Korean dramas, honestly. It's got every Korean drama is on here. It's amazing. It really is. And the third one is this. And this has got a whopping 10 million downloads, as you can see. And this has got a bit more than just Korean dramas. It's got... Taiwanese dramas, Japanese dramas, so it may suit you a little bit more but it's still mainly just Asian dramas so if you don't like Asian dramas you definitely won't like this but yeah and if you want a HD upgrade to HD then you can upgrade for a cheap price as you can see but otherwise it's completely free it really is and this is a fantastic app guys um, let me try. Yeah, it looks like this. It's a really, really good app. And I was obsessed with this. But that's just because I love Korean dramas. That's just me. But yeah. And the next one is this one. It's called Tubi TV and it's also got 10 million downloads. And this, well, this is fantastic. As you can see, it's not based just on... Korean dramas it's based on a much more general thing though I think you can find a few Korean dramas on there I'm not sure but it's fantastic and this is honestly this is the probably I would say the best one out of all of them that I'm recommending to you now and it's like Netflix there is it's just like Netflix and I I was obsessed with this there's like quite a lot on here and the stuff you'll find on here is not it's not like things that you've never heard of. You'll find films on here that you have heard of. And I'm going to open this up. I've got this installed right now. So I'm going to open this up. But before I do that, I have to tell you that the disadvantage of this is that it's only best if you're living in the USA. It's not good if you're living outside America. This is only good for people who are living in America, basically. If you're living in the UK like me, there's not that much that you can watch on there, but there is still a little bit. But yeah, let me open this up and show you guys the kind of things they've got. So here we are. Alright, oh, it's loading. It's just my internet connection is slow, but it loads really fast, guys. It loads much faster than that. So you see, these are the kind of shows they've got. And, well... I'm obsessed with children's TV programs, but there's something in there for everyone, I promise you. Look at that. 
Super Shark. This was a good film. It was good. Um, there is the Pink Panther, the Return of the Pink Panther. There's quite a lot of stuff here that you will love, I promise you. There's something in here for everyone. Look at that. There is Eagle. The in between us. Yeah, this is a fantastic app, guys, and there's something in here for everyone. There really, really is. And I think you will love Tubi TV. So, yeah. Now, here is a huge app. Actually, this is a huge, huge thing because it's extremely popular. I'm surprised it's only got 10 million downloads. I'm sure it's got, it should have more like 50 million downloads because it's pretty popular. And it's called Crunchyroll. And Crunchyroll is really good if you like watching anime like Naruto or just any anime really. It's really good for watching anime. There's also drama on there. I've got this installed so I'll open it for you guys. So I've got this installed and you see there's loads of anime and cartoons but there is also... I'm just trying to click on it. Oopsie, sorry. Thing. So you see, there is not just anime, but there's loads of dramas in here as well. You see, there's loads of dramas in here as well. So there's a mixture of everything. Everyone knows Naruto, come on. So yeah, there's quite a lot of things on Crunchyroll to watch as well. And finally, I'll recommend Daily Motion. Now, Daily Motion is a bit like YouTube, really, but there is quite a few good shows to watch on here as well. But yeah, it's not the best thing but to watch free TV, but it, it is quite good. Now, the next two that I'm going to be recommending to you is only good if you're in the UK. So the next two won't work if you're not in the UK. And the first one is ITV Hub. And ITV is a really good channel in the UK. And, yeah, it's just the usual stuff. But, yeah, this is a really good app. But the next one. Now this, this is a tricky one because it used to be free and you didn't need a license for it but now they made a new law saying that you need a license to watch the BBC and any of their shows. So you can only watch this one if you've got a TV license but other than that it's free so you should be good. But yeah guys I just wanted to show you all of these alternatives to... I wanted to show you all of these alternatives to Netflix because there's so much more than just Netflix which you have to pay for. And some of the shows on the other apps I've showed you are actually much better than Netflix, to be honest with you. So, yeah, thank you for watching.